Good morning on this wintry morning as we take a look along towards Lake Ontario. Beautiful view here at the 38th floor of the Western Harbour Castle Hotel just along the lakeshore. And that's also where you find something extra special in the city of Toronto. Don Alfonso, 1890. This is one of the best restaurants in the world, 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 world. Going to find out what makes it so good as well with the executive chef, of course, this morning, Danielle Corona. Hey, what an amazing space, number one. And what are you making today? Ciao, Frankie. Good morning. I am Daniele. We are just uh, we just made some of our signature dish. Now we are finished the lobster dish. Mustafa just sitting past the lobster and in the middle of time Brian are plating the Ontario mushroom. We have three different kind of mushroom. Uh, King and uh, Blue Oyster and uh, Portobello mushroom. Over here we have egg throat, lobster oil, lobster reduction. Mustafa, you can... Uh, Beautiful. Put on. So the, 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 the restaurant itself has been really recognized uh, globally. Uh, not only did you receive one award saying that you're the best Italian restaurant, second best Italian restaurant yes. outside of Italy. Yes. What a tremendous award that could be as well. But yeah. Don Alfonso has a history of awards. The restaurant itself, where it finds its origins. Yeah, but basically we was, uh, the restaurant has been named the second best Italian restaurant uh, outside of Italy. Yes. So uh, for us, it's a, it's a very, it's a very, we are very proud of that because uh, our competitor are, uh, uh, we have uh, like on the third position we have Massimo Bottura, in the first position we have Fratelli Cerea. So and uh, we in for three years in a row we are there as uh, the first year we had we we was in second position then first yeah. and now second again so be there for three years in a row it's very hard to be there but and well, we Mich are very proud of and michelin that. as well like yeah let's not forget there's the michelin yeah. guy there is a very big achievement that we got uh, on September 2022, and we have one Michelin star. Don Alfonso Toronto got a, a Michelin star, and uh, yes, we are we are very proud of that. We uh, that is our goal, no, to to get many awards, and but first of all, that our guests are uh, have an amazing experience in in this restaurant. Yeah, you can see some of the beautiful food. You were saying that's Ontario. That's, that's yes. Ontario. So, so you're basically, using our concept is it's very clear. So we try to use all lo local products like Nova Scotia lobster, Ontario Wagyu. We have a turbo from British Columbia and uh, seasonal uh, vegetables. And then we try to express our uh, uh, Italian food in a fine dining way. You know right. what I mean? So and local product, Italian fine dining way. And the presentation's amazing. Yeah. And is that what makes a good restaurant experience? If you're trying to achieve this, in your eyes, what do you need to have to make your restaurant and that experience for that person coming in to be great? So basically, the, to, to have a to have a very good restaurant, you have to be focused on the products. We have to use high quality product, high quality products. The technique of the chef, of the of the the, the kitchen team, and uh, also the front of the house is very important. That we are very connected with uh, the kitchen, with the front of the house, because there is uh, uh, the face of the restaurant. No, when the guest, the fir the first person that the guest meet is the 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 server, the manager. So it's very important that they know very well what we're doing in the kitchen, which product we use in our kitchen. So that is, um, that is our goal, to be very connected and to, to express our passion to, to our guests. You can see the passion is on the plate, the proof is on the yeah. plate, but outside of that as well, the space is beautiful and the view from here is beautiful, so people are getting the feel, the look of Toronto, but the flavor of Italy with local ingredients. Yeah, exactly. That is our goal. That is, and it's a beautiful goal, and yeah. I got to commend you on your achievement. Uh, the dessert, we didn't talk about the dessert yeah. over there. I have to, it looks just too pretty not to, yeah. to talk about. Yeah. So basically here, or in this case, we use a, 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 an Italian product that is uh, Piedmont hazelnuts. We have, uh, uh, we use the hazelnuts. Actually, we call this dish uh, Triomphal Anocciola, La Nocciola, Triumph of Hazelnuts. And then we use the, we use in four different way. We have uh, hazelnuts mousse, hazelnuts parfait, sponge hazelnuts, and uh, hazelnuts sphere with uh, gold and uh, 
hazelnuts caramelize it. As, as you can see, the main ingredient is the hazelnuts, yeah. but in different ways, five different ways. That's amazing. Well, congratulations yeah. on all your success to all your staff that's Thank there. Thank you very much. To everybody. Uh, and I'll tell you, today, if you're celebrating your birthday, this would be a great place to come to eat and maybe get that dessert as well.